previously on Ancient Warriors Legacies of Olympus. Minion! Yes, sir. Prepare my final plan. Delta XX10? Yes, and make it snappy. We're going to be carrying out this plan very soon. Now, can you feel it stirring in the wind? Ready! Ready! Ancient gods, we're being on! Part 1. This means war. Interior. The ancient warrior's base. Afternoon. The warriors are standing back around the floating table. They are just standing there looking at the table with a visual of a map of the city. They have now changed clothes since Medusa's funeral, and they are currently trying to figure out a game plan of how to defeat Cronus. They sit there in awkward silence until Abigail finally says something. Okay, guys, we've literally been going at this for hours. What could Kronos possibly be planning? <sighs> Beats me. But if we keep thinking... Well, I'm stumped. Does the letter have literally anything? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing in the letter could help us. Well, I'm out of ideas. Can't we just kill him with the sword or whatever? Just like we did with Zeus? Kronos is a titan. Titans are harder to kill. There's not a magical equivalent. Even I know that. But he's a god. Surely there is some way to stop him. Is there another angle that we could look at this from? Does nobody have anything? I have nothing else. And I'm the smart one. Yeah, I gotta agree with Pinky. Don't, don't call me Pinky. Hey, 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 First off, I'm the only one allowed to call her that. Plus, please shut up and focus. Well, if we look at this from another angle, Cronus is trying to make sure that he can take over the world and that we're not in it. So, you're saying his master plan is just to wipe out civilization? Well, obviously. He made that clear in his letter to Hades and Apollo. Okay, but going in circles is going to get us nowhere, guys. Maybe there's something in the letter that could give us a clue. Me and Hades have been trying to do that for the past couple hours, and nothing. Guys, you are looking at this the wrong way. Remember the apocalypse isn't Cronus's fault. Amy literally started all of this. The... Blake, what are you talking about? We know that Chrono started this. She said she would have her revenge and that she said that she would have saved when the apocalypse is over. And it's still not over. I'm telling you, Amy started all of this. Yeah, remember, Amy worked for Cronus. Cronus was the one that wanted to carry out the end of the world bullshit. Marco's right. Chronos created this whole thing. Amy is no way involved in this. But she started all of this and... You can believe whatever you want, Blake, but everyone else on the team agrees. Kronos started this. 
and not Amy, and even if Amy did start it. She has no power over us. She isn't as powerful as Kronos. There is literally nothing she can do to hurt us. Okay, I've had enough of this. This is gonna come back and bite y'all in the butt. Blake has heard enough and storms out of the base. Samantha and Riley see Blake storm out of the base. Samantha doesn't want to go after Blake. Riley looks at Samantha. Riley pulls Samantha aside so the warriors don't hear them. Do we have to? She's your twin sister. She's really upset. The least we can do is comfort her. Now come on. Ugh! I don't think Sam is happy. You're just catching that now? Did you catch it before? Yes. Wow. I must be blind. Abigail and Marco snicker at Samantha and Riley. Riley and Samantha walk back over to the warriors. We'll be back. Riley grabs Samantha's hand and they leave the base. Oh, this ought to be good. All of a sudden, a puff of black smoke appears behind Anthony and a woman appears behind Anthony. <laughs> Anthony jumps into Abigail's arms and Abigail into Marco's arms. Marco helps Abigail up and Abigail drops Anthony. Ow! <clears throat> totally worth it. Hi, Hades. Why are you here? Oh, come on. I can't have some fun. I, I'm kidding. I'm here to help you all. With what exactly? Little problem. How can you help? Well, I may have a solution for you. Tell us. If you don't want to defeat Kronos, we're going to have to get Amy involved. The warriors look at death in shock. End of part one. Part two, talking means nothing. Exterior, Thornton Creek, afternoon. Samantha and Riley are looking for Blake. Riley finds her and Blake is sitting against a tree. Riley and Sam sit down next to her. Why the hell is no one listening to me? You know, probably because they won't be so inclined to believe a time traveler and her crazy demon-obsessed sister. Come on, guys. They just need to understand how Amy started this whole thing. Okay, but they also believe that Cronus started this thing. Which isn't true, because the apocalypse started when Amy first showed up. Exactly! Except no one wants to believe that! Well, maybe we should try to tell a team. You know... You really think they'll believe us? No. No. Let's at least try to explain it to them. One more time. Well, maybe, hopefully, by now, they actually have a plan and don't even need our, you know, re-explanation. Let's just start heading back to the base. Blake, Samantha, and Riley walk back to the ancient warrior's base. Meanwhile, in Taratus... Cronus is sitting on his throne with his minion by his side facing his army of souls. Now, minion, this is our time. No, <laughs> this is my time to kill those damn warriors and regain all of my power. Capture their souls one by one and destroy them for once and for all. And finally stop my stupid granddaughter and her little nitwits from gaining access. Now it's off to the surface. Cronus, Cronus's minion, and the army of souls march to the surface. Meanwhile, back at the ancient warrior's base, Abigail is now bickering with death. Why the fuck does Amy need to get involved? Because... She's the only one who can help you that would actually be willing to help you defeat Kronos! That makes sense. I think we should at least try the plan. Ivy, Cal, Alex, and Croatia agree with death. I'm not so sure about this. How will Sam and Blake react? Oh, they're not gonna like it. But what other choice do we have? Kronos could be here any minute. We need to have a plan. Uh, fine. Whatever. Whatever we have to do to defeat Kronos. All right, all you have to do is get Amy up here, and she just needs to agree with the plan. Once she agrees to it, you all will be able to carry out your plan and defeat Kronos forever. There was something else as well. 
I just don't remember what it was. Oh, well. Toodles! Death disappears. Well, that was anticlimactic. Blake, Samantha, Riley walk back in. What was? Abigail looks at the rest of the team, and they nod their heads. We need to talk. You're not breaking up with me, are you? Yes, Sam. I'm, I'm afraid we've been caught. A uh, boo. Um, um, excuse, excuse you. you. Abigail becomes serious again. No, but this is some actual serious shit, Sam. The room grows quiet. End of part two. Part three. Fights happen for a reason. Abigail has told Riley, Samantha, and Blake the plan, and they stand there in shock. Hades tries calling Amy via the floating table in the base. I need to try and find Amy. Abigail, Anthony, Marco, Riley, Samantha, and Blake go into a separate part of the base, but the rest of the warriors can hear them getting into a screaming match. Hades gets a hold of Amy. You need to get up here right now. All right, all right. No need to be pushy. Hades looks at Apollon. Can you bring her up here, please? Yep, I'll be back. Apollon heads through a portal to the underworld. Abigail, Anthony, Marco, Riley, Samantha, and Blake are still in their screaming match. Y'all just thought this was a good plan? What other choice do we have, Blake? Yeah, either we defeat Kronos or we all die. But guys, why didn't you just stop this from happening? You don't think I tried? I don't even agree with this plan. Okay, can we calm down, please? Then how come we are even doing it? Because we are out of options, unless you have any bright ideas, Blake. Blake has had enough and screams. Don't taunt me! Yeah, mm hmm okay. So, Amy, I don't know if you remember her, but she murdered our parents, you guys. And that's just, you know, something you can't just overlook. They go silent. Apollon yells from the other room. I have Amy! They walk back to the main part of the base. Ivy has drawn a pentagram on the floor with chalk and created a ring around Amy. Amy is now locked in the barricade of the pentagram. For the first time making a pentagram with a salt ring? Not half bad. You've learned well. Samantha sees Amy locked in the pentagram and just screams at her. Demon! Samantha runs off to her and Riley's room and slams the door. Riley goes after Samantha to talk to her and hear the door slam again. Abigail walks up to the barricade with Amy inside of it. Okay, Amy. Here's the plan. You are the only one who can help us that would actually be willing to help us defeat Kronos. And basically make sure that he dies and all blah 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 blah. So. Amy responds quickly. I'm in. Seriously? Yes. The team looks at each other. We're not letting her out until Sam agrees. Ivy is suspicious at Amy's response. End of part three. Part four. Demons. Go to hell. Samantha is crying on the bed and Riley comes in and tries to comfort her. I mean, why the fuck would they do that? I mean, come on. It's fucking Amy for crying out loud. Amy's little, literally, the murder of me and Blake's parents. It doesn't make much sense to me either, but maybe they have a point. How can you just agree with them? I'm not agreeing with them, but Sam... We're kind of running out of ideas. We may just have to go with it at this point. I just really don't like this. Abigail doesn't either. But are you at least willing to try the plan? I, I guess I just, I have a really bad feeling that something is going to go wrong. Come on, let's go. Riley and Samantha walk back into the main part of the base. Meanwhile, in downtown Plot Point Peak, Cronus is marching down Main Street with the Army of Souls. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Ancient Warriors base, alarms begin to go off in the base. Samantha and Riley walk into the base. Can we let her out? Yeah. Go ahead. Ivy Let's Amy out of the salt ring. Okay, let's go. The warriors run out of the base. 
Apollon and Hades stay in the base. Cronus is terrorizing downtown Plot Point Peak and destroys Joanne Winters and David Cole's studio. Sweetie, relax. I'm not going to do anything. I just want to take over Plot Point Peak, destroy the warriors, maybe get a donut. You know what? Maybe a dozen donuts, some iced coffee. Anyways, I'm getting off track. I'm coming for you. <laughs> now I really need that coffee. Cronus walks back downtown. End of part four. Part five. Death of the Fabulous One. The warriors see Cronus. Ready? Ancient oh, God. God. Cronus sees the warriors. Cronus tells the Soul Army to attack the warriors. Clear a path for Amy. Ivy, you're with me. The team clears a path for Amy. Ivy and Abigail start to fight off the Soul Seekers. Amy pulls out her sword. One swift move and you're dead. What is that? Oh, this? Once I stab you with this, I'll take all the power in the world. Abigail doesn't hear the conversation, but Ivy does, and decides not to tell Abigail just yet. Cronus and Amy get into a fight with magic and chaos up in the sky. Samantha, shoot! Samantha gets out her bow and shoots Cronus down, and he falls, creating a hole in the pavement. Ivy and Abigail have stopped the Soul Army. The sword that Amy has, it will give her unlimited power, making her unstoppable. No. No, no, no! Abigail tries to stop Amy, but it is too late. Hades and Apollon appear with death. The entire team de-shifts. Congratulations, warriors! You did what you set out to do. You killed Kronos! You! You, you didn't tell us jack shit! Marco and Anthony hold back Abigail. You wouldn't have listened to me! It doesn't matter! You should have said something! This was preventable! Hey, it's not my job to deal with your petty human issues. Besides, I'm Death. Hello? Death disappears. Amy maniacally laughs. <laughs> Sorry, losers. Gotta run. Amy disappears. The team goes back to the base. Interior. The Ancient Warrior's base. Evening. The rest of the team hangs out in the main part of the base. Abigail runs to her room and slams the door. Anthony sees Abigail into her room and hangs outside the door. Abigail is hyperventilating. Anthony opens the door and goes inside. <sighs> 2000 BC. Hades. Team. <sighs> Where do, where do they go? Where Where is everybody? No, 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 no. This isn't happening again. No, no. She's having flashbacks. All of this triggered her PTSD. Shit! Abby, can you hear me? Abby, can you hear me? Get away from me. I don't want to hurt you. Get away. Abby, you're here. You're safe. Abby, Abby, you're here. Leave me alone. Abigail. Talk to me. Just say something. No, you're, you're only going to hurt me again. Anthony hugs Abigail. Abigail screams and cries. <laughs> no, let me go. Please, just let me go. Please, please just let me go. Please, please. I don't, I don't want to do this again. Just let me go. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, you're safe. No one's going to hurt you, okay? I'm here. It's, just, it's okay. They're gone. They're all gone. Where did everyone go? They're all gone. Abigail begins to calm down and cries into Anthony's chest. He's back again. To herself. End of part five. End of episode six. Mm -hmm.